Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and I'm just going through these direct landings one after another using the new uh, Law of Cosines method that I introduced in the explanation video that I put together. Let's go ahead and switch camera views here and jump into it. So, unfortunately, attempt number 15 was a fail, but it was a fail because I was too aggressive on the time. Um, you know, I was trying to set a time record because I said, you know, there's no points for having DV left over in this particular flight. So I was trying to rush the time and I just did it too much. We ended up burning through all of our fuel. So again, I don't, that, that's not a failure of the formula. That was a failure of me being greedy on, on time. So that's a learning experience and we are a bit more humble for the experience. Kill rotate, left shift escape, right shift escape and select over to interplanetary. I kind of do wish that I could repeat that last flight with those exact parameters. Anyway, um, base approach, target, Brighton Beach, and we need to go to the old program, and we're gonna go altitude, negative 2566, Re-entry angle has been working pretty well, so we're going to stick with it. Negative 0 0.275. And we had a lot of time. We had, the, I think, the maximum time for this flight. But we're not going to be greedy on our time, because clearly that's a bad idea. So let's start with 3,100. So that gives us a DV of 182. Let's go down to 3,000. Uh, that's pretty, quite a bit up there. Uh, 2,900 should be even higher, I would imagine. Yeah, so... So 3100 is cutting it close. Let's go 3000. Let's not be greedy. I mean, that 3100 sure does look awfully nice, though, doesn't it? What's the difference here? 3000. Man, it's 100 delta V. All right, let's not be greedy. We'll crash. So let's burn that. Everything's set. Yes. Uh, switch over to vertical speed. Get that set to something that we like. Alright, so we did 3,000. Let's go ahead and log that while we're... 3, 1, 2, 3, and copy, paste. So it might be interesting to see what kind of correlation we have between time and success. You know, success here was 2,900. Success here was 2,950. Success was 3,000. DV fail, 2,700. 2,500 was a DV fail. <clears throat> Surface impacts, probably because we did the burn at the wrong time. So, anyway. All right, let's set up our communications. So, ComNav, and we want <clears throat> 132, and I've been doing 15, and then we set the last digit later. Memory get. All right, so we are all set up. Now we're going to solve our, our triangle. So burn time, uh, delta V according to REV is 3558. So 3558 and 20.893, so I have to flip back and forth. So, or rather 20.893 and 244033. Obviously I can see it the whole time, but just I usually flip back and forth so you guys can see what I'm doing. So we'll switch over here. So the re-entry angle was 20.893 and the distance is 244033. So somewhere between 99 kilometers and 102.6. Let's that's pretty tight. That's not a big range. So I'm gonna actually instead of rounding down to 102. Hmm. We're going to call that one as closely as we can. So we're not going to round on that one. We're going to say 102, 600. So when, it, when we see 103, as soon as we see it flip over, we burn. All right. And let's go ahead, switch back over here. <clears throat> so everything's set up, I think. We've done this burn. All right, let's go retrograde. And we're done with that. So let's bring up our generic camera. Back, back, back. And that's set. All right, so everything is set. 
don't need, well, we do still need this up for a bit because we're going to do that comparison when we get to 400 kilometers. All right, a little bit of time warp to help the autopilot, uh, or speed up the autopilot. And that should be good. Back to real time, kill rotate, kill rotate. And now we're going to warp time forward to get down to that 400 kilometer mark. Don't forget to hydrate. <coughs> okay, so we're almost down to our target. Let's go ahead and go retrograde. It looks like a really shallow angle this time. I don't like that. I prefer the steeper angle. I think it's easier to... Uh, I think, it, I think the flight works out better. Okay, so we're going to uh, get down to 400 kilometers and compare the law of cosines method with the percentage estimate that we were doing on earlier flights. Okay, we're almost there. All right, down to 0 0.1. Delta V, 2082, and that's updated. Control P for pause and switch over here. And we got 84316. And unpause, DV, I think this is gonna be another a big range, 3406. And it's updated, I think this might be the biggest range. So 223822. Two two three eight two two. Copy all this down, and not quite. It was more than last time, but less than flight eleven. But that's really close to the biggest range we've seen. So if we were doing, you know, again going more by the fifty percent, we begin the burn at one hundred and fifty-four kilometers, which is substantially higher than one hundred and two that we're actually going to do this burn has me a little concerned that this is going to be really pushing it, but we'll see. <clears throat> It'll be a good test of the new formula. All right, so 102.6 kilometers is when we're going to begin the burn. Unpause, go back to real time. Got a little bit to go there. Let's go ahead and bring up GPS VTOL on this side. And let's warp time forward to get closer to the time get closer to the altitude when we want to begin our burn. All right, let's go back to real time. Nine minutes on the clock. Yeah, that's a really shallow angle. All right, we don't even want to be a moment late on this. So 103, and then as soon as it flips, burning. I think we're cutting it really close on this one for surface impact. All right, gonna warp time forward. And the other problems that are coming in over these mountains, which are higher, because the, these aren't just, yeah, I don't know what the altitude of these is. So this is, this is scary. All right, looks like we're gonna clear the mountains. Yeah, pretty scary. Three kilometers, but I think we're gonna be okay. Boy, that's tight though, isn't it? But it should mean that we have, you know, the fuel budget because we gave ourselves. All right, killing now. Level, landing gear, down camera, select com nav, on to frequency, select VORVTOL, and immediately I'm going to hold because we are not very high up. Rotation. All right, but we will go ahead and descend a bit faster. We should have the fuel this time. <clears throat> <And> we'll <clears throat> once we're rotated around, we will get more correction here. Oops. Okay, there we go, and... 
need to move forward a bit faster because we have a ways to go. Translation. Translate over. And I'll use some of my RCS again to offset my hover. It's very minuscule how much difference that would actually make, but you know, if we're down to one DV remaining, then clearly any amount of the RCS that we can use. But I think we're going to be okay on DV on this one because we didn't push the time so much. Translation lined up. Okay, I think we can descend a bit faster, save some of our fuel, maybe zoom out a little bit. Still a little ways to go. Zoom out a little bit. How much time? Five minutes. We have all the time in the world. Okay, we're at 1.6 kilometers. I'm going to say we can probably descend a bit faster, save some fuel. Well, I don't know how much it really saves. So two kilometers out. Rotate translation. Okay, one and a half kilometers out. Start slowing things down. Okay, we're about a kilometer out from the middle of the pad. About a kilometer up. Did I put down the landing gear yet? I did. Rotation translation. Get our translation a bit better. Slow things down a bit. Rotation translation. Start taking out some of that forward. Okay, we don't want to overshoot the pad, so I'm going to use main fuel for that. Okay, we're pretty well lined up. Yeah, we don't have a huge amount of fuel excess, do we? We're okay. I think we have the fuel for it. Alright, let's slow this down. It's 100. Okay, we're almost over the center of the pad. Let's go ahead and turn that off. 200 meters, slow things down a bit more. Got three minutes left, plenty of time. 30, 20. 20, slow things down even more, 10, 10, slow things way down, that's probably too much, there we go, rotate translation, okay, get ready to turn this off, and then brakes, two minutes left, plenty of time, not a lot of fuel. All right, turn that off. Brakes. Attitude off. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> so another success, but yeah, not a ton of fuel left over on that one. But we made it, and we're just counting success successes here. So let's go ahead and log our success. All right. So we had four successes, and we had a fail, but I, you know, again, that's just the fault being greedy on time so you know we'll still call it a fail but it wasn't a fail of the method it was a fail I'll put a star next to it just so I remember I did use the method uh, the law of cosines method on that one all right so that's gonna wrap it up for now I've done like five of these in a row so I think I'm gonna be done with this for now um, I would I do want to come back and do another set of uh, five or so of these flights just to kind of, you know, verify, you know, through repeated effort that this method is the way to go. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, hit a like, hit the like button down below because because uh, we were learning new stuff here, which is interesting. And that's going to uh, be it. So I'll see you next time.